This is Deep Deep Bunker. And this bunker is big. However big you think his bunker is, it is bigger. This bunker is 40 meters deep and it goes on for over a kilometer. It is massive. It took me over four hours just to explore this bunker. And this was exploring at a fairly fast pace, but this gives you an idea how big it is. It's amazing to think it's all of these abandoned tunnels under London. It is amazing. So we enter into Deep Deep Bunker on the ground floor. Before we go any further, there's a the motor room. That's right, this place has working lifts. So these lifts are 1940s lifts and were modernised in the 1980s with Thames Valley. As well as the main lifts that go down to the bunker level 40 metres deep, there's also a dumb waiter that goes just between the ground floor and the lifts level 3 metres below. This still has its original 1940s Otis logic. And now it should go. Send. Oh. It's a little word there. Why are you gonna notice? UK for some lift surfing. So now we go down the stairs from the ground floor to the lift lobby. But before we get into the lifts down to the bunker, we first got to take a surf on top of them. But before we ride down to the secret bunker, there's something we've just got to do first. Surf it! Sadly, as you can see inside, lifts are quite modernised. Sadly, that's modern, so let's not look at that, but the rest of it's epic. And here comes the other lift. Wow. We've got some shaft lights. Look at those windows, that is classic. Let's go down and see what the lights there is. Got some nice switches there. Well, from here we can actually take a proper look out and see that we're in a circular tube tunnel. Oh, this is the absolute best view of the whole bunkers from the top believed. Oh, well, this door there. These lifts go 1.6 metres a second, so let's now do a full speed surf. Another door in the shaft, the second one so far. There's down the bottom of the bunker, we're going to look at it in a minute. We have to go back up and get inside, lift to get out of there. That view, fucking hell. And there we can see the wall of the shaft, we're in a circular cut tunnel shaft. And listen to that sound. As well as the fire alarm, what's that? Is that an underground train? The bottom of this bunker is alongside the London underground. We are that deep, we are now alongside the underground. So let's now go back up to the top floor and get inside the lift and actually go down and have a proper look at the bunker itself. Back at a vintage 1940s door. So as well as the main two lifts, there's also this little tiny dumb waiter. And before we ride inside lifts, we first go down this little ladder just to take a quick look at a lift going past in the creepy shaft. Fucking hell. I don't believe this, this is absolutely brilliant. 
<laughs> the best lift scenario I've ever come across. That is epic. That is miles down that goes. So you take a right inside the lift now. Sadly, inside doesn't look that great. Those bits up there look a bit tower blocky. Got a fan. Now we go down into the bunker itself. And here we are down at the bunker, 40 meters deep. Let's take a look around. And here we are down in the bunker. Fire alarm has a problem. Fucking hell, this bunker is big. It goes on for ages. Ladies' toilets, the best thing to start off with on the tour of the bunker. And it still absolutely stinks it, and uh, uh, what a good way to start off the tour. Uh. And here's the toilet sit, bloody stinks. Oh wow, look at all those sinks. That looks like a vintage old hand dryer. Sanitizer. And up here we have the men's toilets. Will the men's toilets have something as gross as the women's toilets? Uh, yes, it fucking does. It's, oh, fuck it, hell. Oh, oh, oh. Hold my breath. The smell's unreal. Here we go again. All the sinks and two hand dryers at the end. And before we explore this massive bunker, let's first walk up the stairs and take a look at a mezzanine near the lifts area. The creepy looking doors, a creepy light up there, and a fire hose. Oh, that is a proper creepy looking door. And through the door there is the upper floor of the bunker. Oh wow, look at that, it's on wood. Sewage. Carpet on this bit, and we've got a sink at the end. Oh wow, no, I used to have one of those in my house. Very creepy looking doors. Actually, this is a brilliant view looking this way. To all the old bits of machinery lying about. And what is this way? Let's have a look. This video is going to be really long because this bunker is massive. Oh wow, there's even more up here. All these buttons press in. Oh, there's even more stuff. Got a menu. A brilliant vintage heater. They don't make them like that anymore. And up here, we can get another good view of the lifts. Pipes there, got Zeta machine, Zeta systems, whatever that is for. Very interesting. So this is the mezzanine floor and down here we can look down at the main floor. So let's now go down this staircase at the end, back down to the main floor. Creepy. So we've just had a look at the mezzanine floor, but we're going to go back to the start where the lifts are to start off the tour again to show the main floor now. There's our two very vintage looking lifts. So we're back at the lifts this time, rather than go up to mezzanine, we're going to look around the main floor. And these tunnels go a very long way. They go a long way in all directions. Which way first? Oh, there goes that underground train. So much to this. Is, where does this go? Oh, this, does, this just goes to the pipes on this bit, and the whole way up these tunnels is lots of machinery. And then you can see, we're here on the ground track again, vintage light, and we have a lot of machines. This is the first two main parallel tunnels, and these go on for like 800 metres, so this is a big place. And now of machinery just left lying about. And now we go along to a gated goods platform lift, built by the Hoisting Appliance Co. And now we go along to the first one of the abandoned lifts, which is this lift, which is a lift that is just a platform. Sadly, it does not send or call. Again, it's been a bit modded. Up there, you've got ladders that take you up to the exit. And if we can open this lift, inside, it's just a platform. It's like a car lift. And then go all the way up there. This lift looks amazing, it's chain driven. It's just like that other one I filmed that you should check out the video. This one is much deeper. And this one goes up 10 meters. So we're 40 meters deep in the bunker. And it goes up 10 meters, so it's the top level's 30 meters deep. What's up there, is that more bunker? This lift doesn't work, so let's go up the ladders next to the lift and find out. We climb up these ladders, lifts in there. Very, a lot of ladders. Oh wow, there's a wheel there. So let's get up to the top of this lift.
and there's a big mystery door. And we're thinking, is there more bunker level up here? But well later after I left the bunker, I then realised where we were. This would be the exit from the bunker to the London Underground Station. And there is a big door which we can't open. Oh, a big door we can't open. And it's got an alarm on it. Okay, let's now go back down the ladders, back down to 40 metres deep and carry on exploring the main levels of the bunker. Law ride. Miscellaneous DC, DC alternator, and RNA. And now we find an absolutely creepy air that goes down deeper. These ladders are so weird and go down another 15 metres deeper in the bunker. So let's go down these ladders. How deep does this go? Fucking hell. No way. And this looks very creepy. And we've now gone down to the deepest point of the bunker. 55 metres deep underground. We are much deeper than the underground. We're actually almost twice as deep as the underground now. This is deep. In this mystery tunnel, and I don't have a bloody clue where this mystery tunnel even goes. Can't even hear the trains that loud now. We are deeper than the trains. Old light up there. How far does this go? How far is this tunnel going? Oh, how far does this? It's going on for miles. And that's the end of the tunnel. And it now goes back up again. What a weird tunnel, and I did not even get the point of that. And we go along the mystery tunnel, out the other end of it. We couldn't get out. Turns out it actually goes back up into another part of the bunker. So what's the point of a tunnel that goes down much deep in the bunker, along and back up again? This tunnel is useless. We go along to the newer part. This part looks quite a bit newer than the rest. Ding dong. This looks very 70s, when the rest looks very 1940s. So this is the 70s. We're the side of them. Probably is. Through the little door we can see that we're still underground in this tunnel. And that's another train that went past. And we now leave the 1970s and return to the 1940s. The mezzanine with breakers, vintage looking lights, pumps, motors, fire extinguishers. That is all intact and that train going past is very close. More cooker switches like I had in my house when I was a baby. The old sink. What's through the mystery door? Pool. And through here, we can take a look back down at the main level. This bit's big. And what they're for, though? Extract system. Up here, past the big bunker door. We have another lift, a very interesting lift. It's currently at the top floor, it's up at ground. Sadly, it does not call. Cool. And that is the lift shaft. And it goes, look, it goes further down. And I can hear another underground train. And up here's the motor. So that goes up all the way to the top, that's the ladder route. Down there's the motor. So we've climbed down the first ladder and there's another ladder. We're at lift pit level. And there we can see a lovely counterweight. That's your lift pit. And then now we're gonna go down to under the lift pit where the motor is. Lift motor's flooded. 
I want to see that cabinet. I'm not getting my feet wet. Bloody hell, this is at the bottom of the shaft. Bottom drawer. Bloody. Wow, I did not expect to see this. Poor motor. Abs. That's not. Oh, it's well flooded. I'm not standing in that. Now we go to yet another mystery tunnel. This one's shiny. Oh, it's a bit different to the other ones. Goes up to something. It goes to nothing. It's bricked, it's bricked up. I bet that's one of the tunnels that goes across London. Another mystery tunnel. Fire exit. How many mystery tunnels are there? This one's quite a bit bigger. Getting more ventilation stuff. And if we go down this staircase, it goes to a flooded basement. We will not be exploring this basement. It's bloody flooded. And by the way, anyone watching the whole of this video, this is a very long video. That's because we're in a very long set of tunnels. A set of tunnels that goes on and on and on and appears to have no end to him. And now we go along to this point. Where's another air shaft? There are ladders going up here. And when we noticed, just up the ladders, there's a spiral staircase. They were building another pedestrian exit from the tunnel, but they never completed it. The spiral staircase was never finished being built. It never made its way all the way down to bunker level. So up we got the ladders to the unfinished spiral. Let's go up and see where it goes. What the fuck? It's like I built stairs, but I never finished building the stairs. What's happened here? Only are the stairs incomplete because they don't go to the bottom. It's a double helix staircase. You've got two staircases intertwined. So we go up the long double helix staircase and see where it comes out at the top. We've walked up from the bunker 40 metres deep up 25 metres. So we're now just 15 metres deep. And this is where the spiral finishes. What's a weird spiral? And my one comes out a different area to yours. My side of the staircase comes out to a completely different area to your side. And from this level, there's some more tunnels and these tunnels are not on any of the maps. This is an unknown about tunnel. Where does it go? Where are we? No, this isn't on the map at all. Start to look tight. We are about, I don't know how deep we are now. Got up about 20 meters. Another two tunnels. Holy fuck, we've come to another lift. Fuck me, we're at another lift. Turns out this was the gated lift with the flooded motor room. So this lift stops at bunker level 40 meters deep, mezzanine 15 meters deep and up the ground floor. Thanks to my magical V key, just open up the lift. Just look how far down it goes. Holy fuck, that's a long way down. And up. Bloody hell, it's still quite a long way to the top. It's still deep enough for it. And since we're near the ground floor, we might as well go up the ladders next to a lift just to take a look at the ground floor itself. We've now come up to the ground floor. So we're at a deep ground floor, but a completely different ground floor to where we started. We're at half a mile from where we first started at the other end of the bunker. And let's take a look at this lift since we're here. Sadly, modernised ground, mezzanine, lower ground. An unfinished staircase, it only goes to mezzanine and lower ground. Why would it be an unfinished staircase? So we now go back down the ladders to the spiral and back down to halfway down the spiral where I spot another mystery tunnel. Where does this one go? So here we are, lower than the mezzanine. This is the lower mezzanine and we've got another tunnel. No idea what's on this tunnel. There's yet another tunnel. How many tunnels do I have? Fuck, that feels like it's going to give way. Holy fuck, this goes on and on. This is when you think you've seen it all. Fan? Well, okay. radiator. Do you have any big radiator? How much heat that would dump? Wow. This tunnel goes even further. Holy fuck, where's this even going? Fucking, where are we going now? Holy fuck, this goes on and on. I don't have a clue where I am or where I'm going. Neither do I. So these must be electrically cabled. Oh well, we've reached the end. Oh well. Don't fall down the hole. Oh. 
Wow, that's, that's the street level, isn't it? Right then, we go back down to bunker level, 40 metres deep, and then we continue to go down to even more tunnels. These ones are about 50 metres deep. Now gone quite deep again. We're only on the surface. We're now really, really deep. Another tunnel up here. How many of these tunnels are there? Sadly, this one's flooded. That goes on a long way as well. Bloody hell. Another tunnel up there. This just goes on forever, there's no end to this. There's another one. That's flooded as well. That goes on for miles. Another ventilation shaft. Now the question is, is this tunnel here, the tunnel that we're all trying to find that leads all the way across London? Apparently some tunnels here stretch the whole of London for electricity and gas and telephones. Is this the tunnel? Sadly, we'll never find out because I'm not walking through the water. It's Mercury Arc rectifier time. Hackbridge Transformer. I've never seen one of these in real life before. And now go along to this part of the bunga, which has a selection of tunnels perpendicular to the main two parallel tunnels. Let's take a look around these perpendicular tunnels, which are very interesting and have various different things inside them. Oh, I don't think you've been up there. Up to another bezzanine floor. Bloody hell, I've made this look like an underground without a ceiling. Weird mezzanine floor, lights are on in this bit. But the weird mezzanine floor does not go anywhere. Massive telephone exchange. This is absolutely massive. Bloody hell, that is proper massive. And over here we've got what would have been the mechanical element of the exchange, which is Sadly, all taken out. We've got a ladder on a thing up there so you can push your ladder along. So pull that. Oh, that's how you do it. You pull that, then you can move the ladder. So once you move the ladder, you can go up the ladder and start fixing your telephone exchange. So you then start fixing whatever you want to fix. How many dials do you need? Oh, well, here goes the next train. Holy fuck, we're close to the underground now. Ah, the train is close. We are really close to the underground. I don't know where the underground is, but we're close. Creepy tunnel. So we are literally walking and walking and walking. That is very interesting. They've got uplighters. Oh, this is the posh bit of the bunker. This is where, like, the really posh... I don't know, why they got uplighters in the bunker of all places. Put in your message. Message goes in. <laughs> that is a proper compressor. Is it Westinghouse? The other one has engines, this one has transformers, and then it. Hell, apparently it's got zero volts. We have a logic cabinet by Alan West & Co, manufactures Brighton, England. And here we've got some nice big contactors on slate boards. So we've got slate relay logic. High speed. Oh, those button presses are so nice. Look how big those buttons are. And now we have another big machine. Let's turn on. Ah, oh, it doesn't turn on. What a shame. Oh, another underground train. Uh, that's had an oil leak. Yeah. Engine oil leak. This was a, a rusted engine. Creepy tunnel. More machine, and I'm not just going past the same machine again and again. These are all different machines, there's a lot of them. And now we go along to the rear exit tunnel. This is creepy. 
and the rear exit tunnel goes along to an amazingly rusty looking lift. Look at that. Sadly though, button's still being replaced with Dewurst. Oh dear, that is flooded. Flood lift shuffle if you look up. That is what you call a grim lift. Being modded though, Old Thames Valley. <sighs> Bloody hell. Yeah, motor room is, uh, yeah, we're not going to get in that motor room. That is flooded beyond anything. Now in the back we have stairs going all the way to the top. So just for even more exercise than I've had already exploring this bunker, we're going to walk the entire 30 to 35 metres up this staircase to get to the top of the lift shaft to see what the top of the lift looks like. A very long walk all the way to the top. Hopefully it'll be worth it. So we go up 35 metres up the stairs to find the building above the bunker, the bunker entrance, the secret little house that's actually a bunker on the ground floor, has been demolished and probably built a skyscraper or something on top of it knowing London. So the bunker is sealed up. We cannot exit a bunker through that staircase. There is a big office block that's been built on top of the bunker. Oh well, that was a disappointment. 35 metres of stairs just for that. And now I go along to the other end of the bunker. This is if we went the other way from where the main lifts were, where there is a spiral staircase going downwards. Again, this is another unnecessarily dug out tunnel. We're 40 metres deep and this goes down 8 metres to 48 metres deep. Where there's a little connecting tunnel that connects up the two parallel tunnels. There's absolutely no point in building this bit of tunnel here. It's so odd. I don't get a point of this tunnel because it literally goes from the two parallel tunnels down the staircase underneath them then back up another staircase back to the other parallel tunnel. What was the point of building this tunnel? This little tunnel here does nothing after an extra expense to build it. But hey, it makes it more fun. And now to celebrate our urbex of this bunker, there's only one thing that can celebrate it. We've got to go surf the counterweight of the main lifts. Counterweight surfing at Vintage Bunker. Whee! Stop. This is how you counterweight surf at Vintage Bunker. Good night,